Talk TV on CBTV. I'm Alec Luza, and today we'll be talking about this is Max, Max, Jimmy, Jimmy Young, and Jake. And um, uh, what are we going to be talking about? We're going to talk about the All Star Game, about the home team advantage with the National League. Okay. I think it's a good idea because they're they won and they should be able to have their home team advantage because they won. What do you think? I personally believe the All-Star Game is an exhibition and the starting pitchers, which are the best starting pitchers in that league, start and they go for no more than two innings. The, the best players don't play very much. I believe it should be the best record. The best record in that league that, that goes to the World Series should have home field advantage because they earn that. They go out there 162 games a year and they they, they play their hardest and they deserve it because they have the best record. They they deserve home field advantage because it's a huge, four games opposed to three at your home stadium is very important. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, I'm, I'm going to defer over to him first, then I'll speak last. What do you think? I have to disagree with you guys. Okay. I think that it's a great rule because a bunch of different players who sometimes don't play each other that much, get to play each other for another game, mm -hmm. and the competition is a lot harder because it's baseball's finest, and I think it's, the game for them is fun, and now it's begun to be a tradition, and I think they should continue that. And it reminds me of Army-Navy Day here, how for Capture the Flag, the Powerball yesterday determined who got uphill or downhill, that, and who def defended that, and I think that made a big difference in the flag finding and defending and pulling flags. And that, I think that's why Navy won. Okay. Interesting, but as I look at, as I've studied this and I've covered the whole aspect of this whole thing, the biggest problem for me came in with this all-star situation was a couple of years ago when we had a tie. That messed up everything. You got a 7-7 tie, run out of pitchers, you got to stop the game at 7-7. Now who gets home field advantage? You have to figure out all kinds of other scenarios. The easiest scenario is that you want to reward the best team over a 162 game span, like you said. That's the team that should have home field advantage if they get to the World Series. Now, an example, when the Red Sox won, they wound up beating the Yankees in the playoffs. They played the St. Louis Cardinals. They had home field advantage. That was huge for the Red Sox to win in 2004. Those first two games were in St. Louis, might have been a totally different situation, okay? That's one. 2007, same thing. American League wins the All-Star game, they have home field advantage. They get games one and two on their field, and six and seven if possible, on their field. Fortunately, they had two four-game sweeps, but those first two games are vital because whoever wins game one, the percentage is like 80% of the time, they're gonna win. Game two winners, and you win the first two, you're going into the other guy's park with a 2-0 advantage. And even if he wins three, even if they win all three games, you're still coming back home. Now, I'll give you the perfect example of how this happened. Back in 2001, the Yankees, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks win the first two games. The Yankees come home, win the next three games. You go back out, Arizona wins both games. Now, this scenario wasn't there about the All-Star game at that time. It wasn't there. But I'm just saying that my whole feeling is that I want the team with the best overall record, like you said, to get the chance to be able to say, okay, we're in. We get to have home field advantage. Now, you have it in the playoffs, so why would you not have it in the World Series? If, you, if it's good enough in the playoffs that the best team has home field advantage, then why wouldn't you use it in the World Series? I don't know. I guess you're right. That's it for Back Talk TV with Max, Max Jimmy, and Jake. I'm Alec Clouseau. See you next week. Bye.